<clears throat> Hello everyone. So it's me, G1 Writer with G1 Insights, and I am basically doing Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising, or Venus in Pisces. Pisces, for a lot of you, this is going to resonate more deeply when it comes to career. And for some of you, this is going to resonate very heavy, very heavy for love, okay? Focusing upon a solution brings you positive emotion. Focusing upon a problem brings you negative emotion. So while the differences are sub two, they are very important. For when you are feeling positive emotions, you are attracting into your experiences that which you want and that you desire. When you are feeling negative emotions, you are in the process of attracting that which you do not want. So I really hope that you guys understood that. Okay, because this season is all about attraction for you. The golden opportunity has arrived, okay? Or slowly approaching. So I'm trying to cover the light so you guys can see this. All right. All right, so a golden opportunity is presenting itself. And it's presenting itself in the midst of of darkness in the midst of your pain or your doubt whatever it is that you are feeling i want you to understand pisces that the beginning of this season is starts in aries cool we just got finished with your energy which was very emotional very like sad and i don't know what it is that you guys are going through but i think that your overall energy affected a lot of us okay and i feel like there has been someone really um aggressive around you or in your environment someone who is either I mean, it again, it may not be love. It could be someone at your job, maybe someone that you are close with, someone you know very well. Either way, this is definitely someone you've been around for a while. So whether, no matter what, if it's new energy or old energy, okay, it doesn't matter. The whole point is that this is a lot of aggressive energy and a lot of critical energy, a lot of energy that is weighing on you in a way that is making you feel it is making you feel the word is on my tongue and I can't say it inadequate thank you <laughs> so it's making you feel inadequate okay now and i feel like a lot of you if you haven't been going through this then you will because there's an energy here that is saying not to back down which is interesting because it's in two different decks two different energies two different cards okay you had the hostilities card here. So this represents a lot of emotion, a lot of aggression, a lot of um, seriousness, right? Or maybe this is you doing this to someone, hoping that they'll get their shit together, okay? Um, or this person could be doing this to you, hoping that you get your shit together, okay? Not because you're a bad person, but because I feel like they feel like they have been dealing with your crap for like some time now and they want you to get it together. So I feel, I hear and I feel a lot of that. Like if you don't do this and I'm going to leave your ass like that type of conversation. Okay. And even if this is work related, I feel like there's a lot of hostility at work or in your environment, okay? So try your best to think about your environment, people around you, how people are responding to you, what they are saying. Pay attention to those things. Make sure that this is not you doing this to someone, okay? 
So hostilities came out as your overall energy. And then Goddess Bridget came out with don't back down. So this is, for a lot of you, this is like, nope, I'm going to say what I got to say. They're going to know what I mean and what I feel right now. Or they can get the hell out. I don't care. It's my way or the highway. Oh, well. You know? And I want you to understand that when you act in a place of emotion, human emotion, Okay, it can quickly lead to destruction. And for some of you, you might not really give a damn, right? Like some of you may not even care <laughs> that it's leading to destruction. Some of you may notice it later on and you might be like, oops, did I do that? You know what I mean? Like, sorry, I was pissed off. You know what I mean? Like, so try to be very cautious around this time because I mean... And again, for a lot of you, my allergies are really bothering me. <laughs> so for a lot of you, this could be energy that was going on during Mercury Retrograde. And maybe, you know, guys, going into the first week of April or even the second week of April, we're still dealing with a lot of that Mercury Retrograde energy. We are still dealing with that. So, yes, expect confusion to still be at its best, okay? Expect delays to still be happening because even though Mercury went direct, it would still be hanging around up until its shadow period. So, I've been trying to warn everybody that about the second, the ending of the second week going into the third week of April will be a much better time to follow through on anything it is that you would like to do. So if you want to move forward, if you want to um, get another job, if you are thinking about getting into a new relationship, maybe you've been single for a while, but it seems like everybody's just playing games, um, just rest assured that there is a golden opportunity knocking at your door. So there is something or someone that is taking high interest in you and vice versa okay so for a lot of you this could be you going after that goal going off going after that dream going after that particular person i just feel like this is a energy where you you know what you want and you're working towards it and you're not you're trying to get i feel like you're trying to get away from this so that you can focus on this okay so you can focus on that grand opportunity okay but whatever this aggressive energy is i feel like do not be afraid of whatever is transpiring at the moment, okay? Because you also got butterfly mating, and that is all about transformation. That's all about putting a stop to what doesn't serve you or putting an end to something. So for a lot of you, this is an ending, okay? And for a lot of you, this is an ending, but it's also a beginning. You have to keep in mind the energies of the planets right now. We just finished celebrating the spring equinox. So we just finished celebrating the spring equinox. Okay. We are also still celebrating. I don't know about you guys, but I'm still celebrating the new astrological new year. And now it's 11-11. I'm excited. This is good. This is good. This is good. I just got confirmation about something. So, okay. So, I am still celebrating that new astrological new year. Because I know that no matter what I go through, something is about to pop off. And I do believe that for all of us. Something amazing is about to just go poof. Like right in our face, okay? So there is transformation on the horizon. So it may feel like, okay, why is this person giving up on me? Why are they trying to fire me? Why aren't they listening? Why are they not hearing what I'm saying? Okay, why aren't they returning any of my calls? Listen, the signs are there, okay? Nobody is going to baby you this season, Pisces. So what that means is that you have to snap out of your natural um, daydreams, okay? And you're going to have to kind of will yourself back in and say, you know what? 
I have to do what I have to do for me. No matter who said they're going to be there for me, no matter what they say, I have to be there for me, right? Because when it's all said and done, it's going to be me going through those things, okay? And so I feel like this is kind of like you taking your life back. But you are experiencing some type of enormous change right now. Okay, you are experiencing some enormous change right now, which brings great blessings. So I do see a lot of amazing opportunities here for you. So again, this could be a new job, a new promotion. Anytime there's a new astrological new year and the spring equinox and the sun is in Aries, trust me, there's a lot of passion. There's a lot of straightforwardness, a lot of directness. If that's even a word. <laughs> a lot of assertiveness is what I should have said, right? So, <laughs> so April 5th, we have the new moon in Aries. But remember, the sun is in Aries. The new moon is going to be in Aries. Ugh. Yes, we are still dealing with some of that Mercury retrograde. So while you are pumped up and excited and ready to hit the road, Jack, and ready to, to you know, take on this new project or this new business or what this new spouse, whatever it is, I need you to calm down a bit. Just wait a minute. If you can, if it's not life or death, hold your horses, okay? Wait until the end of the second week, going into the third week of April. By then, you know, of course, we'll have that Jupiter retrograde because the universe never lets up, right? So we will have that Jupiter retrograde, and Jupiter retrograde is going into Sagittarius, I believe. So uh, with that being said, everything is going to be like... <sighs> Wow, this is amazing. This is exciting. Oh my God, he's so fine. Yes, I want to marry you. Yes, I want to be with you. Yes, I'll take that job. Yes, I'll start that business, right? Everything's going to be like, like expansion because that's what Jupiter does. It expands. It expands our thinking, our thought process. It expands the way we deal with situations. And it can even make something seem like it's greater than thou. Okay? So you have to will it back in. You have to be stronger this season when it comes to your emotions. You have to be stronger than the eye, stronger than your emotion. Do not allow your feelings or your emotion or your heart to do something that you are not really quite ready to do. Okay? So just wait because I feel like there is transformation on the horizon. There is a golden opportunity. So you are right, but the timing is bad. Not right now. Wait until the third week of April going into early May. That way, the reason why I'm saying that, guys, and I'm not trying to be, like, pessimistic, but the reason why I'm saying all this is because the sun will then go into Taurus. Taurus, Uranus is in Taurus. Rebellious, Okay. Rebellious energy, going after you want, being extra determined. And Taurus, I mean, if you're dating a Taurus, and this would be good for your relationship, of course. But their ruling planet is in your sign, for now anyway. And what that is going to do is amplify everything again. So while Jupiter is playing tricks on our mind, <laughs> Venus is still hanging around talking about love and money. And then towards the end of April, you will have Saturn and Pluto go retrograde in Capricorn. So there's a lot of serious logic business to take care of. So you may find that you are more assertive around the third week of April where you are like, no, I'm okay, just cut my check, right? Like you want to get straight to the point because that is Capricorn's energy. And being the fact that Taurus is, you know, the, the earth sister of Capricorn, okay, um, the sun will be in their sun at that point. So this is really good when it comes to your stability, strategic planning, making sure that you got all the, you know, you're crossing all your T's and dotting your I's, 
all of this stabil stable energy is going to help ground you so that you're not daydreaming so much, but that you are taking heed to what the universe is telling you. And then at the same time, Pluto is also going to go into Capricorn. Pluto is just like Saturn, very serious, mean business, don't talk to me, I'm getting money right now, I'll talk to you later, I'll deal with you soon, but right now I'm focused. And you, Pisces, because you are a natural daydreamer, you need that at times. You need something to shake every now and then to kind of bring you back in. You get what I'm saying? Because you have a tendency to kind of wander off and think that everything is a fucking fantasy. And it's not. And with Saturn going into Capricorn, we are all being reminded that we need to finish our homework. Because daddy is in town. Right? Like, because that is what Saturn and Pluto does. But Saturn in particular is the father figure of all planets. Like, it is the the planets that represents wisdom and knowledge and um, the authority figure, the the um, the teacher, right? So, and, and it also rules um, Capricorn and Aquarius, actually. And Aquarius ruling planet would be in Taurus. So you're going to have a lot of these different emotions about, okay, you're going to have that rebellious energy because of Uranus going to Taurus, and you are going to be feeling the aspects of Saturn and Pluto going into Capricorn. So there's a lot of being serious, doing what I want, focus on what I want to do. I don't care what you say. Of course, I'll leave. I don't want to be with you either. <laughs> like, I feel like this is this moment where I'm not chasing you. Do what you want. Fuck it. Fire me. Like, I got other opportunities, okay? <laughs> Say what the fuck you want. Like, I have another opportunity waiting for me anyway. I see a lot of you truly resigning, okay? Taking the next step. Doing something that is broader and bigger than you. Especially because Jupiter is going retrograde. And again, that's all about expansion and work, career, finances, um, and home-related issues. Expansion. So, new family, new birth, new growth, new you, new home, new car. Expansion, okay? This is growth to like a third dimension. So, when you hear that Jupiter, Saturn, and Pluto is all going retrograde in one month... And it is also the new astrological new year season. And we are still dealing with that spring equinox. And we are still dealing with some of that Mercury retrograde energy. Yeah, you can kind of put the puzzles, you know, together. Okay? April is going to be a serious, serious month for a kickoff, honey. So, that is, it doesn't surprise me why you got a golden opportunity and transformation. Yeah, you are transforming on a emotional level, on a financial level, you are growing, okay? And again, for a lot of you, you may quit or resign from your job. For some of you, I hate to break it, you may get fired. For some of you, it's okay to get fired. You don't care. You wanted that to happen anyway because, you know, you just, you just don't care. You'd rather be at home making money anyway, okay? For a lot of you... You will be looking forward to that new grand opportunity. So if you haven't had work in a while, then this is probably going to be a really, really good time for you financially, okay? But I recommend that you still wait until at least the third week of April, if you can. But if it's absolutely necessary, then do what you have to do. You know, I would just double check everything. Double check, you know, the contracts that I signed, um, location, making sure that it's convenient to where I live, making sure that the pay is really good. Like, I would just kind of reconfirm all of the, the small details that we, we will ignore normally, okay? So, but other than that, whatever this aggressive energy is going on either at work or at home um, or in a relationship, for some of you, this could be a parenting situation where you're beefing or having issues with um, another parent or co you're co-parenting. For some of you, this could be a legal issue where you, maybe the hostilities are coming from basic frustrations where you're constantly trying to prove your point. This season, I feel like as long as you don't back down, but you do it in a very um, humble, loving way, in a very spiritual, religious way, right? Um, 
I think that everything will be okay for you. Everything is already working out. It is working out. So whatever that legal issue it is that you are dealing with is already being worked out. Again, there has been some frustrations surrounding the circumstance or the situation or the person involved in this situation. But you are naturally going to come out on top because you are going to fight for what you believe. And this is stand up for what you believe is right. You have to let it be known. Listen, I didn't come here to just walk away, to just give up. So if someone maybe even trying to call the relationship off or break up with you, you can let them know, listen, look, I, I want to marry you. I want to do this thing. You know, let's move. Let's get our car. Let's do whatever we got to do. But I, I want something greater. Okay. So I'm going to do you guys overall energy um, one more time before I close out because it's my 20 minute mark and I got to go. All right, so show me Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising, or Venus and Pisces, overall energy for life and love for the month of April 2008, 2019. Woo! What happened? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I didn't touch nothing. You saw that. Okay, I'm not crazy. All right, like I said, love, something is happening. Oh, oh, anxiety. Okay, it came out in reverse. So, yeah, we're, we're not doing this anymore, okay? Like I said, <laughs> whatever hostilities, my love, you have been dealing with, listen, there has definitely been some really mo some moments where you felt criticized and judged and uh, misunderstood. Oh, my God, Pisces. Please review your partial focus. It was your energy I was feeling. Woo! Between you and Scorpio, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I felt it. When I was doing your partial focus, I kept saying, I don't feel like this is Cancer's energy. I feel like this is Pisces and mostly Scorpio's energy because you guys are normally so fucking emotional. Man, I felt this. And this is anxiety in reverse, meaning that you're not doing this anymore. No more pouting, no more stressing or depressing and, you know, feeling all down and everything. Like, you got the transformation going on. You are ready for something totally new. You're like, look, I'm not dealing with all this aggression anymore. You're not going to continue to talk to me the way that you've been talking to me, mistreating me, throwing my shit outside, cursing me out. Like, you do not get the chance to do that to me ever again. You're not doing this to me again. No. No, absolutely not. You're not going to continue to disrespect me, right? I'm going to get what I came for. I'm going to finish school. I'm going to get my degree. You're just going to wait and be fucking patient. And then once I get what I want, then if you want to say the hell with me, then so be it, right? Like, I just feel like a lot of you are just telling the person, ah, 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 not right now. I'm going to do me, and you're going to shut the fuck up and let me do me. <laughs> I got excited just now for some reason. I feel like somebody just got their groove back. They're like, oh, oh, well, don't talk to me. I got this. You know, oh, yeah, Pisces. Hmm. I just feel a lot of you putting somebody in a place. That is what I'm feeling. That's why I just got super cocky. I feel like a lot of you just put somebody in a place. Mm-hmm. So going into the third week of April, yeah. Try not to talk too much though. Don't know, you know, you don't want to be spiteful. Even though we know how vengeful you can be, you know, we don't want you to be vindictive too much because you don't want to miss out on that beautiful blessing coming your way now, love, right? So what you have to do is understand that this person is disrespectful. Don't say anything. Follow your heart and stick to your guts. That's it. Trust me, transformation. Golden opportunity. We're not dealing with this negative emotion anymore. Okay? So we're not even going to look at it. You're doing great, my love. Transformation and golden opportunity. It's all of you. Pisces, I love you, but I got to go. I'm past my 20-minute mark. Please comment below. Let me know who you are, where you're watching me from. If you are replaying this video, shout out to you because you are the best. I love you. Please share this message around the world because, honey, this is some deep, deep, Deep-ish, okay? I love you. Check out my website, g1insights.org, for a personal tarot reading. Bye, guys. Woo, Pisces.